Wagon grass are like London buses. You get nothing for ages and then all at once. <laughs> How are we getting on, everybody? So, they've let me out for a, t a day. And uh, as I said in the wee live video a couple of weeks ago, JCB have uh, asked us to look at a 420S. It's one of their evaluation machines. They have been running tests on this particular one, which there is now. 479 hours on we got it about just a few hours ago they have sent us over a set of 710 55 28 as well that they're doing that on now those tires are not passed off by engineering yet but they are looking at them and one of the instructions given to me with the 420 was to try it on the big tires on the silage pit I don't think JCB have actually done that yet one of the downsides I would have often said to this type of machine would have been that you lose a little bit of what I call flick so it's harder to get that type of linkage for that power in a telescopic type machine she's now coming with the red s stage 5 um, when you compare it to the 420 that's here, you do see a lot of differences. It's just the wee things that, that, that I would say make this more refined. It's a nicer seat, it's a nicer operating environment. We've got our switches here. One of the things I really like about this here, you can put any function onto this, this button here. So at the minute I have uh, the torque lock. So I hit this button here, on comes the torque lock. If I um, isolate my joystick and I hold a button and hold this sticky key together beeps off now automatic gears is on this here and you can have whatever function you want that's on that pillar so you can have your horn you can answer your phone with this button here so you can change wee things to suit the work that you are doing and I like that your standard 420 that was available in the market. One of the limitations to it, guys would have said was horsepower. Yeah, I think it was about 140 odd or something like that. And this S now brings these machines into line with your 419 Red S, 435 Red S. And when you see Red S with JCB, what that really is telling you is you're getting that power to weight ratio of 17 horsepower per ton. And that's what makes them sort of an industry leader within that field of work. They're giving you the get up and go. A machine that's got the power to work on the pit move and then the torque lock up. Because it's around 10 ton or there or thereabouts, the buck rate's 1.1 ton. It's about 170 something horse in there. And they're pulling that power from JCB's own four cylinder engine. You don't really hear the engine working. It's almost hard to know what kind of revs you're doing. There seems to be plenty of power, but with that 12 foot grate and the wagon grass, I can assure you, we can use it all. I personally think the shovel would be up there as a 41 with a 414, um, you know, old school machine. It's definitely a, a little bit of a step behind the 419, um, but it's going to be much more versatile than your 414, 416 older machine at this stage in the game. You know, the telescopic in itself is a great job. Four point, is it 4.2 ton odd lift, you know, 13 litres an hour average there in fuel according to the computer there today. Um, so... Three gallon an hour? Not even, bless. Just under three gallons an hour. We had a wee go on a 420 and yeah, we loved it. We thought it was great, but this is going to a different level. Uh, the tire of choice back in the day for your 414, 416, which is probably similar-ish sort of weight, um, was a 620. And 
that was the tyre that you had to have if you wanted the uh, JCB to stand over you know many's the time I drove ones that had bigger tyres but if you were looking the warranty well they've now got these 420s uh, 420 420 yes you can get that choice of tyre as well as 620 on the 26 inch rims they're trialing a set of 710s now I believe the 710s is a great job however the 620 does compact the pit there and we how I can how I know that is uh, John Irvine from Irvine Plant he seen we had a 420s out and he rang and said he had a 420 um, sort of the older 420 nearly 4000 hours clocked on it I had it in for sale but he said here he'd love to leave it up and uh, we could look at it and, and, and sort of showcase the, the, the small differences and running them alongside the pit side by side honestly you could genuinely see it now this is a load of wagon grass from the shooty maker <laughs> I'm going to see if I can walk her through it now there's a lot of grass in that I'm not expecting her to do it but we love a try don't we I'm just in first gear I never get too excited me and uh, I'm going to see how how we can what what we can or cannot do without going mad so like she has caught the push a little bit on the crown in certain situations so we're starting to take this load with us here we're trying not to spin the diffs the wheels we're trying to keep her sort of at the point where she's grabbing we're just so we're yeah we're trying to work it up now we have a, a buck rake from MDE MDE um, had made a lighter range they are well known for their warrior range as a buck rake and they had made a lighter range called the Triton X and uh, they were thinking about the likes of the 420 size machine and they asked me would I take it and try it on it so I'm, I'm, I'm really torn between this type of machine should we be looking towards a push off or should we be looking towards a grip I don't know we, we walked through the most of that there I would be reasonably impressed with that if there's one thing I would say that I miss without a shadow of a doubt the, the, the sound of the commons oh that sound to me was to die for and if JCB engineers are listening could you could you could you make your four cylinder diesel max engine sound like that please that would be that would be awesome everybody would be everybody would be so happy then eight speed gearbox you know you take the older 420 it's a six speed box this is eight speed box achieving a top speed of 50k 50k a lot of farms now in that application when they need to get about there's a lot of moving to do between farms so you're 50k aesthetically this 420s is a little bit sharper looking i'd probably keep it on the 710s if i could get away with it but I'm unsure if they're genuinely really, really needed. Oh, Gary coming in with a load now. Oh, isn't she a honey? 800 tyres and that thing. Everything's about tyres and, you know, compaction and... Whilst when you're rolling silage, yeah, you need weight down. Um, but I tell you what they are good for, the big tyres when you're rolling. <laughs> you give it a quick roll, you see where all the holes are. We get Lexi out on the tether on the, the farm, the, the, the 120, and then we get Lexi tuned up on the fent and the rack. I don't know how she's getting on in the fent and the rack, um, but she did the rowing the last time of the wee 120 m so farmer Lexi is flat out, which is absolutely brilliant to see. Um, we're, we're, sadly, we're in a world now where not enough of young people are, you know, coming on into this industry and wanting to drive, and. I think it's great that Lexi is and wanting to learn and eager to learn and but she's great, <laughs> she's wild cracked. <laughs> oh, I put a bit over the edge. Let's be really brave. See if we can break through the load up here at the source. 
torque lock off, I prefer that off. That's a personal thing. Like, she has plenty of drive. I think, anyway. Had a girl. Had a girl. You know what, girl? We're getting on far better. Every load we do. Baby bear in with the load. He's all smiles, and I. Like, <laughs> but um, no, I'm I'm really impressed. Like I haven't today at all. And like they are two big old wagons. I haven't had to get mad. I haven't had to get excited. They've. They sort of redesigned this a little bit around the RPM, sort of for maximum oil flow, I think. And um, she's she's fairly effortless, you know. I loved the 420 when I got her running it here a couple of years ago. This is next level. Um, delighted that JCB um, shared it with us and, and asked us to take a look at it for them. I'll just take a wee bit right for one of this time. I'll try and demonstrate torque lock. So, torque lock on. Gear number two. Like. <laughs> I, I think you can't. I think you can't argue that. But look, I welcome you. I, I would say to anyone, look, if you are, if you like the TMs. 420 is maybe going to be a little bit big for you. 320 maybe the machine, I mean, but it's a very capable, very strong, very nicely built uh, loader. On when I think back to the progress from the 270 back in the day, I must say I'm I'm, I'm impressed. Well, the uh, 710 become an option. We'll just have to wait and see. And hopefully, hopefully it won't be too long to we're chatting to JCB about some of their next uh, projects. I think it was around this time last year. I right? we, we 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 tried our hand on the the new X series digger, and what JCB did in that series from the one before it was absolutely fantastic. Well, guys, look, thanks for coming along on the shovel today. Lots of plans, lots of things we want to do with the Smith trailer, lots of things we want to do um, with our fast track. We have our new hog trailer coming that's going to get built very soon. We have our Massey that's pretty much finished now from Johnny Blakely. And you know, hopefully, the next time we're at Sailage here, we'll have Alan back on the, the old uh, Max 6. And, uh, but we didn't want to take any of the trailed harvesters out this time. We wanted to let the, the big jumbo do the talking. Lovely jubbly guys. See you all later and uh, give us a wee roll now. Maybe get her tidied up a bit. Take the bad look off it. <laughs>